late night, Mr. Jay Leno. Suzanne Plachette. How many of you remember Suzanne? Wasn't she adorable and beautiful? Do you know who her husband was for years? Do you remember Tom Poston from the uh, Bob Newhart show? He died and then she died six months later. Yeah, yeah really great stuff. Anyway, as I was driving in here today, I said to Paul, I said, you know, this weather is fantastic. Not a cloud in the sky, the weather is beautiful. You know, a couple of weeks ago I was in New York and it was a crisp, clear day, not a cloud in the sky. It's what we call in show business cab driver weather. It wasn't a shower to be had. <laughs> not a shower. <laughs> no, it's okay. Hey, uh, are you as glad as I am that the election is over? Yeah. You know, when you look back on it, and I don't care what your party affiliation is, because nowadays they all kind of blur together, but you gotta admit, this election was really weird. I mean, we had a governor of Arizona that thought there were headless bodies all over the desert. We had a woman in Nevada running that said that three cities in Michigan were under Sharia law, which I don't know to this day what that is. And then you had a ditzy in Delaware who said humans and mice were in a laboratory mating and creating mice with human brains. Oh, yes, and she wasn't a witch. <laughs> now, folks, just between you and I, if your candidate or a candidate can also qualify to be on the Jerry Springer show, they shouldn't be allowed to run. <laughs> uh, oh, and... What was oh, well, anyway, by the way, did you hear, uh, did you see Barbara Walters' interview with Sarah Palin? Uh, she asked Sarah Palin, do you think you could, could beat Barack Obama in 2012? I got news for you folks, right now Mickey Mouse could beat Barack Obama. No offense to Barack Obama, but things aren't going so well. But she said, yes, I'm going to beat Barack Obama, and she is so convinced of it, she's already started to write her inaugural on her hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I hope she doesn't take a shower or something like that. 
Anyway, oh, and of course there are rumors floating that Hillary Clinton may very well run as the vice presidential candidate, switching places with Joe Biden. Now, I don't know if that's really going to happen, but if you think about it a second, if it happens and if they are elected, this would be the very first time in Hillary's life that she was actually under a U.S. president. <laughs> oh yeah, like you guys don't get that one, right? Yeah, Tommy Bahama's sitting here going, let me think about that a second. Mm. Hey, I'll tell you what, I got a good Cuban cigar for you. That's a beautiful thing. You need to simonize, you know what I mean? A little bit every now and then. This is... He needs a dusting? Oh, well, dust him off a little bit. There you go. It comes to a V. See, with Jews, it comes back here in monks. With a V, you must be Catholic. Because you're going, hey, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, oh, how many of you people are traveling over the holidays? You're going to the airport or anything? There's a gentleman over here who used to be an airline pilot. You're going to be traveling? No, no, no. I have artificial knees. You have artificial knees? Oh, cut her off. She's been drinking already. This is like working in a Las Vegas crowd, which I did for over 10 years. But anyway, you know, the TSA, I think they've gone a little too far, don't you think? I mean, when you think about it, they can touch your breasts, they can touch your genitalia, they can put their hands down your pants. Now, at the airport, granted, that's security. In Hollywood, that's an audition. Oh. And TSA already has a new slogan out there. We handle more junk than eBay. God. You know what TSA stands for, don't you? You know what TSA stands for? Touch someone's ass. I tell you, it was so cold.